Hello divers, this is Chris with Dive Zone Scuba for another technical diving tips and techniques video. In this case, it is a device that can be used to mount two technical diving computers in a fixed position relative to each other on your arm. The console base is constructed of a plastic called Kydex and in this case it is a piece of 7 by 4 by 1 8 inch Kydex. Kydex is readily available uh, for purchase on the internet. Uh, here is a, an example of the uh, positioning of the holes that are used for the wire ties to secure the computer uh, to the console itself. Uh, so um, the measurements um, in your case, depending upon what type of computer you have, may vary slightly. Next, you'll need to drill 16 holes. Uh, I have selected uh, 7 by 32nd inch holes uh, because of the size of the wire ties that I'm using. This is the console base. Uh, it has been heated up using a heat gun to 600 degrees and it has been thermo uh, form molded uh, to a cylindrical uh, object. In this case, I used a pony bottle. Here are the eight wire ties that I'm using. These are standard size wire ties. You could use thinner wire ties uh, at uh, some uh, risk of uh, having the mounting less secure. In this video clip I have attached uh, the two computers to the console uh, using the eight wire ties. This clip shows the underside uh, attachment details for the wire ties to the console. Here is a view of the side of one of the computers and the console uh, in this uh, clip, I have uh, trimmed off the excess wire tie length. In this video clip, I have the console mounted on my right arm. You'll notice that the console is short enough on the left side not to interfere with my wrist movements, and the console is short enough on the right side not to interfere with my elbow movements. Of course, the size of the console uh, is dependent upon your arm length. In this video, I am manipulating the buttons on the Perdix. You'll notice that there was approximately one inch between the two computers. This space is necessary to provide clearance for my thumb and forefinger when manipulating the buttons. Here is the console and the computers in a Pelican 1060 case. If the length of your console Kydex is less than seven and a half inches, you will be able to fit it in this size Pelican case. This is a battery storage tube, which fits nicely underneath the curve of the console when the console is in the Pelican case. I typically carry one SAFT 3.6 battery and a couple of uh, CR2 transmitter batteries. The tube is made from water uh, piping and it is sealed uh, from uh, water with two rubber stoppers. Prior to using the console, I frequently found that one computer or the other computer would rotate out of position. Now the console helps keep the two computers in the same relative position to facilitate both viewing and operation. One minor disadvantage to the use of the console is that the batteries in the Perdix may need to be periodically uh, replaced and in order to do this it is required to cut off two of the wire ties, pivot the Perdix up and exchange the battery. However, since the Perdixes have uh, very excellent battery life, this is really a minor consideration or minor inconvenience in actual practice. 
This is Chris with Dive Zone Scuba. Thanks for watching.